Welcome to Hydroponics with my 108 hole NFT system. If you only have a small flat or apartments or even a small garden then this is for you. Or if you want to start small and expand into the thousands as a hydroponics farmer. In this video we'll be setting it up, unboxing, we'll break down the parts so if you want to have a go DIY you can. Then we'll be testing it out with a vast array of different leafy greens I'll put a breakdown of the parts and a link in the description. The instruction said, place seeds in water for three hours and then transfer to wet gauze. When the seedlings have developed two leaves, transfer to the sponge, place in water and wait for four leaves to develop. I don't know if this does work, but I did try seeds directly into the sponge with limited success. So I stuck with the trusty Rockwell cubes instead. The diameter of the tube is 6 cm, so I want to ensure that the containers and roots are at least 6 cm long before transferring to the unit. The nutrients I used were specifically for English water. I purchased soft water A, soft water B, the total cost was £12. I used 2 ml per litre, so the total used was 60 ml came out at 36 pence. They're a mixture of nitrogen, phosphorus pertoxide, potassium oxide, iron, manganese and zinc. I will have a look at making my own at a later stage. My first NFT system has arrived and with instructions in Chinese this is going to be fun. We've now unpacked all the pieces from the kit and we'll now take you through a step-by-step -step guide of piecing it all together with a breakdown of all the parts used as best as possible and include measurements where necessary. Once we established that the numbers on the instructions related to centimetres it was quite easy to put together with a mallet provided. Let's see it working. So the pump is in the 30 litre tub and excess water is leaving from the channel outlet. So water's pumped up to the top channel across and then down to the next channel. And that follows the same pattern to the bottom channel. I should be getting an air stone and I should be monitoring the pH level and putting it on a timer. This is only the second type of hydroponics I've explored but it is now up and running and it will be placed in a south facing window. I shall update in about a month and I will be adding plants as they develop strong roots. So drop a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and just remember so seed to succeed.